It's the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. What the Frank Show? Come on, the Frank Show. It's time for the show. Pow. Hello, hi, heads. That's Frankie Boy here, and it is time for the Frank Show. Now, I have a special treat for you today. I had my first ever interview with a VR developer. Well, first official interview with Fast Travel Games when I were over in Stockholm. And boy, was it a great interview to have because I am someone who is passionate about virtual reality, and this team is extremely passionate about virtual reality. I mean, so much so that a lot of these people gave up cushy jobs at Dice and Bandai Namco to work together to create this small team. And make this amazing virtual reality title. Now, this is an awesome archery game. It has a very compelling narrative, and the universe is extremely expandable. And they do hope to build on it and grow. They're not just trying to pull us in for one game and that's it. They're trying to create a, a feeling, a world, a place that you want to visit often, you want to learn more about, and you want to spend more time in. But I, I can only say so much about it. I think you guys should check out this awesome interview. Frankie here with the kind gentleman Oscar and Eric from Apex Construct Fast Travel Games. How are you guys doing today? Really, really, really good. Good, good. Yeah, really good. Great to be here. Now, uh, you guys want to tell me a little bit about the game? What are we looking at here? So, uh, we're looking at, this here is the key art for Apex Construct, the game. Uh, it's uh, coming out on PlayStation VR first, and then later on other platforms. It's, uh, it's an action adventure, and it's built for VR uh, from the ground up. And it's, it's the uh, first title from Fast Travel Games. All right. Awesome. Uh, and how long have you guys been working on this one? Uh, we, we've been working on it for uh, roughly a little more than a year. Uh, Fast Travel Games has been around for one and a half years, Yeah, I think. Yeah. And yeah. how large is the team? I know it's more than just you two wonderful, the beautiful guys out here, but how big <laughs> is our team? Uh, so the, the production team for the game is uh, around 10 people and then uh, some contractors working on, on the effects and all okay. the other stuff. Very cool, very cool. All right, and uh, this is completely single player or we may get a multiplayer or what are we looking at here? So it's, uh, it's single player right now, okay. but we are looking at ways to extend it into a more cooperative you know, universe where you can play okay. together with others. I mean, that's the long term goal of the studio, and we'll see where we can take this or other games. So, awesome. yeah, I mean, multiplayer is going to be huge in VR. Okay, very cool. Now, I know I'm getting a bow and arrow. I know that I'm shooting my bow and arrow, and I'm going to get upgrades. I got to try the electric arrow. How many different upgrades am I going to get to do a lot with it? Or is there more than just the electric arrow? Um, more like that I'll have to switch around to solve different puzzles. That, that's what I like. There's, there's more. There's, there's, okay, there's, okay, there's, there's more. more. Okay, there's more. Okay. There's more coming. Yeah. That's what I like to hear. We were speaking <laughs> earlier that I got to play on the standard PlayStation 4, which was beautiful. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it, draw distances were great. It got a little bit in the uh, distance, but honestly, so tight. Colors look really nice. You guys said there's going to be a pro patch. What's going to be on that pro patch? So we're we're looking at a different uh, we, like I like I told you earlier what we what we want to do is basically cram as much as possible into each version of the game but the, the pro version will have basically more more detail and look, looking at resolution and stuff like that. Okay, cool. So now the the, the gameplay is going to be the same regardless. Everybody's going to have yep. a great time yep. with it. Yep. Okay, good. Yep. So that way we don't we're not losing any core nah, experience. Nah, 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 All right, beautiful. All right, and um, let's talk about how many hours could I probably suck into that? I mean, I played about oh, two hours or how long? I was like an hour and a half, and I got through maybe the first level or so. So there could be a lot of depth in here, right? Yeah, I mean, we, we really try to build a longer, longer experience because we think that's been missing in the VR space. Uh, so this is going to be around five hours, we think, if you just run through the game. Uh, but it's really hard to tell because some people, we want this to be a, like an exploration game mm -hmm. where you try, try to discover your stuff. So we, you know, some people are going to run through it and some people are going to spend, you know, much more time than that in the game because they want to go back and find all the secrets or really find out what was happening there in the story plot and I didn't really understand but there might be some clues over here so you okay. know, we're trying to build a, uni a universe here for you to explore. Very cool. All right and from what I gathered it's kind of like a mystery a little bit right? Mm -hmm. What's going on? All right, and then I love the little notes that were strewn around everywhere. <laughs> there were like goofy little things written here. I think that that's fun. It really brings it in. I really like the audio logs too that I could go listen to all the extra mm -hmm. story and you guys don't just jam it in my face. If I don't want to listen to it I don't have to but if I want to which I do. Uh, I did. I was extremely. You guys weren't here, but into the inventory. Like I love yeah, that yeah, little inventory. You can pop thing. the item in yeah, here and there. It worked great. Yeah. It worked great. That was key. That was key. That was nice. Um, are there any other little features that you could tell me about that I didn't get to see in my demo that I can be excited about? He was saying there's some bosses, but he wouldn't yeah. give me too much information. <laughs> no, I think uh, there's a, there's some boss encounters that I think. I mean the. 
they're more fun to experience if you don't know about okay. them to begin with. But uh, some, you know, some some major fights, uh, some way more action-packed fights than what you had in in, in uh, today's play session, and uh, and also uh, some actually some quieter moments where we actually really have I hope have to think a bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, yeah, and I mean build out the mystery. I mean. Yeah. You can talk a little bit about the narrative, but I mean that's been something. How do you work with narrative in VR? It's quite mm -hmm. tricky, but I mean, so the uh, you you had uh, while playing, you heard you were the like voiceover. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. That was uh, father, who's an AI. Okay, uh, that was father. Well, and then they were talking about mother too. There's a mother as well, which okay. which you didn't get to encounter uh, in in the play session today. But uh, and and the thing is, they're in kind of a conflict about uh, the uh, what what you know. They each have a they have a different purpose, but what they want the, this post-apocalyptic world to be, okay. and you kind of end up in the middle of it, and you, mm -hmm. you need to find out you know, what's your role in it, and, and you know, are there others? Have there been? Yeah, others? I can feel little yeah. hands here and there. Yeah. There's like a little thing laying yeah. around and gave away. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, cool. and uh, and but it's I, I think the uh, the narrative is, there's a lot of you know, a lot of it is up for you to explore and mm -hmm. find out about. There's not a lot that we just push. Uh, onto you. I think the world VR is so much fun when you get to, you know, rummage around and open all the yeah, yeah, find yeah, everything. Yeah. And, and I was that's throwing cups here and there. Yeah. It's just fun. So that's kind of how you learn about the world. Okay, good. Well. All right, and then my other question is: Now this is awesome. This is cool. You guys were telling me that this is kind of supposed to be like a mix of post-apocalyptic, like Sweden mixed mm -hmm. up, Stockholm mixed in here and there. Uh, are there any other areas that I'm going to see that don't look like that, like tree, kind of like? Suburban environment, or is that my general environment for the game? Uh, that's the I'd say that's the most common type of environment, okay. but there are definitely other types yeah. of environments okay, as cool. well. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, good. Right. Are there any other like characters? Well, somebody was saying, I remember someone in my questions asked me, "Can I get a robo dog? <laughs> so will I be able to have any kind of like robo companions to like travel with me?" Uh, Let's just say not not in this first release, okay. but we really like the ideas of a robot. Yeah. Okay, cool. And I mean, this is it's we love this universe, and it's such it's such an expandable universe. Okay. So obviously, we have plans for what to do with this going forward. So, mm -hmm. so we'll see. Maybe there's a robot dog somewhere. <laughs> cool. All right. And then when are we going <laughs> to see this one out? What's it coming out for? Mm -hmm. So uh, Apex Construct is coming out first on PlayStation VR. That's on February the twentieth. Twentieth. <laughs> really, really soon by the way. Uh, and then afterwards, uh, we're going to release it on, on PC platforms. Okay, cool. So we're going to get it on Vive, Rift, and Mixed Reality headsets, yeah. which is great. It's coming everywhere, which is yeah, nice. Everywhere, yeah. yeah. Everywhere. That's the way yeah. to do it. Awesome. And, and um, my last question is, where did this come from? Where, was, uh, where did the idea come from? So um, I know a lot of people like to like tell a story, you know what mm -hmm. I mean, or have like a, yeah. something you're trying to like feel, a feeling, a sensation, like what, what spawned Apex Construct? I, we worked on it from two different angles, actually. One was the world. Okay. And, you know, when, when we started uh, Fast Travel Games, this, we said, okay, we need to build worlds that people want to stay in, and they want to come back, and they want to explore, they want to feel the world around mm -hmm. them. So that was one, one part of it. Uh, and, uh, I mean, I love, I'm a big sci-fi fan. I love the ideas of, of uh, artificial intelligence is not doing what they're supposed to do. <laughs> uh, so really like that. And the other angle was actually uh, us prototyping tons of different gameplay things. And then, a little well yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then once we, you know, uh, locked in on the, uh, on the bow and arrow, and you, because it works really well. In, in yeah, no, it does. Uh, and then we kind of married those two things. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I mean, it's such a physical moment. No, it's not. Nice. I mean, it's, yeah. bone arrow is great in in like hand, you know, stand up. Yeah, fun. Yeah. It's fun, but it's it's like it's a complete different thing in VR because oh, yeah. then you're actually there. It's you're so doing smooth. It. So, yeah. so that's that's why we stuck on that and said like let's let's build out bow a real you know a longer bow and arrow game that you can mm -hmm. spend hours and hours with. Them. Yeah, it's a real not just a bow and arrow. Not way just shooter. an arcade way. No, shooter, right? yeah, yeah, something just, bigger. Yeah. yeah. All right, awesome. And then my last question for you guys is oh, um, influences. All right, so now I have a lot of people that say Horizon, um, I, and, and I saw it, but then when I played the game, I felt nothing like Horizon. It, it doesn't mm -hmm. feel like that. Uh, sure, it's got a bow and arrow, but it's not that same kind of mechanic. Honestly, it kind of had a little Bioshocky feel to mm -hmm. it, with mm -hmm. the audio logs, with like the AI talking over me. I like that. What are your guys' influences? What would you say influence you the most in games you play? Uh, I think, uh, at least, I mean, the uh, first of all, we love Horizon. It's great. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When we, when we uh, you know, started working on this, nobody had played Horizon. There were a couple of, uh, you know, screenshots, etc., and stuff. And stuff. But that's it. Yeah. Yeah. But the, I think, yeah, I mean, I really like System Shock, Bioshock, those mm -hmm. games, uh, and uh, and 
so those are you know big in, in inspirations for yeah, good, yeah. And I felt it completely. And those were my favorite, some of my favorite games. Yeah, I mean, so. I've, I've been thinking about Half Life too. Yeah, Half Life too. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's almost the kind of this with like the exploration, trying stuff. to understand mm -hmm. what's going on here, and and this action and puzzle. So it has mm -hmm. kind of that balance. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's probably the influencers. Yeah, those are some good influencers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. no, and yeah. honestly, like when going into it, I wasn't sure what I was going to get, and I really, really liked the final product. I liked the hub world. I like yeah. that I can go back and ply the things. I like the little like vending machine with the put my hand there. Yeah, it's cool. And yeah. obviously, you can bring stuff back as you saw. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you bring stuff back from this world into yeah, your base, trophy. and you, you can just put, put them up. wherever you want and decorate that home base yeah. in in, the, in your way. Make basically. it your home. Base. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which is fun. Yeah, a fun little thing. Very awesome. Well, thank yeah. you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me out. Thank you. Beautiful. Can't wait to play it, the final release. Yeah. And uh, yeah, let's get back to let's having a great time. Yes. Let's right. do it. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, what would you guys think? Did you like my interview and skills? It's my first one ever. Uh, I, I think I was pretty proud of it. You know what I mean? I don't think I did too bad. Uh, please let me know because we got packs coming up soon and I want to try to do some more interviews. So if you guys like that, if you guys would like me to ask different questions, please let us know in the comments. And as always, thank you for coming through. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. But more importantly, if you want to stay up to date on everything PlayStation VR and all the behind the scenes scopes and yeah, don't mind this ugly mug. Friggin' subscribe. I mean, come on. Nah. All right, smooches. Fast travel games. Don't forget it.